So yes, we have to continue removing to get this part out. We're gonna have to remove this screw as we saw before, but we are gonna also need to remove this part here. So to do this, it's easier to start from this this edge there on the side, and then here, well, at least in this this one, you can just insert the 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 tool right there, right? And then you can do hopefully a similar. Kind of motion. Apparently, there's a lash right here, but I don't know if this is. Seems like I'm. Um, We try there. It's a little bit, um, a little bit uh, more difficult, but it finally came off. You're gonna have to. So now we have here. There's a one a, a star 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 shaped screw right here. Another Phillips screw here and another screw here. So we're gonna go ahead and take another piece of paper. We're gonna preserve the orientation as we did for page one with the screws. So we're gonna make another contour like this. Something like that. And then we're gonna have mark a Phillips screw there. Uh, another uh, T5 star-shaped screw there and a Phillips screw here. And then we should actually do this thing just as a, for reference hmm? and then here we get the little camera and the output uh, connection there, audio and here's the volume just as before so we're now going to take uh, this T5 screw there Okay, and then get this out of it. Actually, we're gonna leave the, um, the other screws for later. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is find the end of this tape. Gonna put tape there so that screw is fixed there. We already lost this thing. By better tape. Hmm. Okay, let's mark it there. All right. So now the next thing to do is to uh, remove this black plastic in here uh, before we we can proceed. Actually, here is the 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 connector they used to to plug uh, the unit. Mm -hmm. So actually this black part here, once you remove the T screw, actually this one we're gonna have to remove it also, the Phillips screw right now, because I can see that it's, it's actually holding this black part in there. We got to get this out. I'm gonna hold oh, a fairly long screw for this. So we're gonna have to tape it again as before. So we take the screws there so we don't lose them so we have one more right here which is Phillips we're gonna leave that one for later because that one holds this part here and then um, that is uh, more so we're gonna have to remove this part here how does this come off now okay there's some, some kind of adhesive tape. Here's a track ball. Alright. How do we get this thing out? Mm. Yeah, apparently 
Yeah, they said that this thing is a little bit over, it's engaged on the board actually, you can see the green board there and this part is engaged in there and this is also like like that also, so I'm gonna have to, wow, that was a bit too quick for you to see, but it essentially if you if you undo these things here, these lashes here on the corners, it just releases this part from the board. And here, in this part that just came out, there is the motor, the motor that vibrates when you, when the unit uh, rings or, and so on. So we're gonna leave this aside for now. And then here, there is, um, this thing has a number of connectors here. Here is another pair of uh, connections for the motor and there's some, some hole in here there's nothing in there ah that's the cavity that's the cavity where the motor sits in yeah yeah that's right so okay so i'm gonna leave this there for now and now we're gonna have to remove some connections here in order to proceed we're gonna have we're gonna remove this um, screw on the corner right here which is phillips remove that one and put it, this one is very short, I'm gonna remove it and leave it in there. I'm gonna tape it, there we go. So we got this is page number two for this assembly with the screws. Okay, so now we have, we have to remove connectors. These are connectors that go to the digitizer and the LCD. It's not an LCD, LED screen actually. And there is the, um, here's a, some kind of antenna connection. Here's a coax cable, it's a tiny coax cable there that is connected in there. So we're gonna have to remove this connector here, which you just gently, it's a fragile connector, so we just have to try to spread the pressure. Don't use a sharp corner on this thing and try to lift this thing. You can use a wider one like this one. And then just, just uh, try to gently pray lift it lift it up a little bit until it just pops up like that and the same you're gonna have to do with this connector right here so it's now off see and there is this connector inside of here right there so you have to also undo that one so this one is more difficult to access but it comes off there you are. So now that that came off, we have to maybe use a smaller praying tool here and remove this coax there, which I don't know exactly. So you're gonna have to put this thing right on the base and try to layer it as it came off, pops up. So then after this, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Maybe I think there's another connection right here. Yeah, we're gonna have to remove this thing as well. So how's this thing? there. So we're gonna have to leave it there and I think this thing yeah. See yes, this is part of another board. It's kind of messy here right <clears throat> and then once this is done then we have to release this this board from here and from here actually so it's being held in two little plastic from here is already released as you see but this side is not and then we're gonna have to pull this thing a little bit there to the side and then so oh, I see this thing this thing is supposed to come out like that and this is the coax right here oh, okay I see let's see it's released there 
so oh there it is it comes off like that uh -huh. and now oh here this is the volume control oh. maybe we just yeah just need to force it a little bit out and then the volume button comes out and then there is this thing that if you lift it up and then you can get it out from here so we get this now game off gonna have to then we gonna have to now take this part off so here there's another screw which I can see but this one we're gonna have to make another drawing because it belongs to another series so we're gonna have to in this um, so we're gonna have to make a little bit of organization we're gonna have to make a drawing now where we take the volume out and then we took this thing and some uh, connections coax we also removed this uh, connector we also did this connector here and here two connectors So, it's a good idea maybe to tape all these things here. So we just hold this thing there. Hold that one there, volume control. So we remember, so that's our three, number three is assembly sequence. And then we now have to remove another screw I can see right here and then the, the, the entire board all these boards will come off so you can actually see it, it moves a little bit and this is this this screw here is actually loose so we're gonna before we remove it we make another contour and this is actually a Phillips screw and there don't, doesn't seem to be any more, only that one. All this came off completely. So, yes, apparently this is it. So I'm gonna have to take this off. Do that, get the screw out. put it there and take and this is our page number four I'm gonna leave it right here so 